Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. This is Pope TV. And please stand for the Pledge of the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Good morning, Pope High School. Welcome to the Greyhound News Network. I'm Jake Pralgo. And I'm Nick Veland, and this is Poe TV. The Transition Academy Coffee Shop is now open every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday from 7.45 to 8.20. It will be located in the Transition Academy Kitchen on the 400 Hall. Uh, great coffee. Rising juniors and seniors, are you interested in being an ambassador for the 2017-2018 school year? If so, please stop by room 112 for an application. All applications are due back by Thursday, May 11th. If you have any questions, ask Ms. Kaysen. And now to Mike and Ryan with the sports. <sighs> Welcome to Mike and Ryan in the morning. Congratulations to the baseball team on their first round sweep over Creekside in the state baseball playoffs. The Hound won the first game 6-1 and the second was a 14-0 blowout. Buddy Floyd was 6-9 for nine on the night with two doubles and two RBIs. Caden Smith was 3-4 for four in game two with four RBIs on the night. Ryan Webb got the win pitching game one and Chase Smith got the win pitching game two. Round two is Thursday at home against Houston County. Game one begins at 4.30 and game two will begin approximately at 7 p.m. This should be an exciting series. Join hundreds of your friends up at Jeff Rowland Field after school on Thursday. You know it's always a party of fun and domination. Wednesday night, the men's lacrosse team begins their quest for a state championship. The Lax Hounds are playing at home in the stadium 7 p.m. versus Wheeler. Come on out and root for our men as they destroy the Wildcats. The Lax Ladies will also play their first round state playoff on Wednesday. The girls are in action down at Newton. Good luck, girls. Last week, the girls' soccer team put a beating on Alexander 6-1 in the first round of the state tournament. The girls are now clicking on all cylinders. Tonight, the Lady Hounds take on Heritage Conyers at Heritage in the second round. Game time is 7 p.m. These ladies could go all the way. Let's go, soccer. Hounds. Last week, the boys' tennis team had a strong win over Greenbrier in the second round of the state tournament. The boys are now facing Northview today after school at 4.30 in the state semifinals. Good luck and keep up the good work, men. Congratulations to the track and field team for an excellent weekend at the sectional meet at Heritage High. The following track athletes qualified for the state tournament. Walt Ramsey and Josh Seiden in the 3200, Peter Dutois in the 800 and 1600, Hope Glenn and Denise Isay in the 100 and 200, Matthew McAlpine in the 200, Brooke Mizell in the 400, the girls 4x1 and 4x4, and the boys 4x1. Field athletes Denise Isay in the triple jump, Carolyn Deedy and Story Cummings in the discus, and Kyle Rowe in the pole vault. The state meet is in Carrollton beginning next Thursday. Great job track and field, hashtag dominate. The girls golf team won the area championship last week. Back-to-back -back championships for the first time in school history. Lizzie Reedy was low medalist again this year, winning back-to-back -back individual medalists. The girls will now play for the state championship on May 22nd and May 23rd. This has been Mike and Ryan in the morning. Back to you guys. Thanks, boys. Attention prom goers. Prom ticket pickup will take place Wednesday, May 3rd, during all lunches in the cafeteria. One final ticket pickup opportunity will be on Thursday after school in the special services office. Remember, prom is a school activity. Remember to act and behave accordingly. The senior walk will take place at 10 o'clock if you are on the court for king and queen. You must be there at that time. Sign up for the Whipple Ball Tournament at PopeFastFish.net. This is an awesome fundraiser for the softball team. Ladies and gentlemen, May 20th, that is a Saturday, Pope Fast is sponsoring the first ever just epic wiffle ball tournament in Pope history. So we're going to come out, you're guaranteed three games. If you can get a team together, you can have a maximum of five players, minimum of three. For students, 50 bucks. If you're one of the top eight teams, it goes to mega epic tournament. If you win the tournament, you not only get a prize, you get back bragging rights, and we're having a home run derby as well, totally separate from the tournament. You pay five bucks, you get 20 swings, win the home run derby, boom! We're going to take the proceeds, we're going to build an awesome locker room, it's going to be killer. So, you know, the money is going back into the community, in case you're wondering about that. Pope Fastpitch, May 20th, Wiffle Ball Tournament. Check the website, PopeFastPitch.net. 
for all the info. Come join Flop Club for our last event, Cinco de Spaghetti-O. There will be ice cream and crafts. We will meet on Thursday, May 4th, right after school in the cafeteria. You don't want to miss this ice cream social. Thank you for watching the Greyhound News Network. Have a great day.